and welcome to the Geomestic channel. In today's lesson, we're going to dig into the point slope form equation of a line. If a guided notes worksheet would be helpful for you, click on the link down in the description, print it off, and follow along with me. Now, the point slope form equation is definitely not the most common way to write uh, equations of lines and graph lines, but it can be super useful in certain types of problems. Now, the general equation itself may look a little confusing at first, but after a couple examples, I think you'll catch on pretty quickly. So the point slope form equation, we'll just start off with the general form. So it looks like this. Y minus Y sub one equals M times parentheses X minus There's a reason, oops, reason for the color coding, which I'll explain in just a second. Um, but there should be a couple things that are familiar here. First of all, uh, if you've graphed lines and write, written equations of lines, you've probably seen um, the M. So the M stands for the slope. Now, this equation comes from the slope formula. Now the slope formula, if you recognize this slope formula, looks like this, the difference of two y-coordinates over the difference of two x-coordinates, which is equal to the slope. And if you rearrange this a little bit, you multiply both sides by um, x2 minus x1, you end up with basically the general form of point slope form. So this whole thing comes from the slope formula. Now, to get an equation of a line in point slope form, there's really only two things that you need to know. And it is the reason it's called the point slope form, uh, because you need a point on the line and the slope of the line. If you have those two things, you can put, the, uh, put that information into the equation and you can write the equation of a line in point slope form. So um, any point that the line goes through is what you're gonna need. So um, in this case, the X1 and the Y1, these are the coordinates of a point on the line. So I'm going to say this is the equation where x1, y1 is any point on the line. And the m represents the slope. Okay, so if you have those two things, any point on the line, and then you have the slope, you can write the equation of line and point slope form. So this y and this x will remain y and x. Okay, but these three spots, the ones that I have color coded, those three spots will be replaced with actual numbers. Okay, so I'm gonna give you just a quick example. You're gonna see how simple this really is. So I'm gonna write my point slope form up here just to have it accessible, so it's y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. Okay, so there's our form. So let's say, here's our first example. Let's say that I want to write the equation of a line in point slope form that passes through the point negative 2, 1, so that point is on the line, and we have a slope of, let's say, negative 1 third. Okay, so again, with point slope form, I just need a point on the line and the slope of the line, which I've just given you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my point slope form equation, and I'm going to plug in the information that I have. So in this case, the uh, negative two one, the point on my line, that's gonna be the x one and the y one. So the x coordinate here, the y coordinate there. So those two values are gonna go into those two spots. And then my slope, negative one third, that is, going to go in the M spot. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this equation, but I'm going to replace the Y1 and the X1 in the slope with the numbers that I have here. So what's that look like? Y minus the Y coordinate of my point that the line passes through, which is 1, equals the slope, which is negative 1 third, and then times in parentheses X minus the x coordinate of the point, which is negative two. So I've got x minus negative two. Okay, the 
only other thing I really need to do in this case is because I have this double negative in the uh, general equation it is x minus the x coordinate so if I have x minus negative 2 I've got this double negative that I can clean up and I can make that plus 2 okay that's it so this right here would be an equation of a line in point slope form that passes through the point negative 2 1 and has a slope of negative 1 3rd so if your problem asks you to write the equation of a line and they give you information, point slope form could be the quickest way to go depending on what they give you. In this case, it's just a quick substitution of these three values. Okay, let's do another one. So let's say we want to write the equation of a line. This time I'm going to give you a little bit different information. Let's say that the line we want to write the equation for, um, let's say we're given two points on that line. So let's say my line goes through these two points and I want to write the equation of that line. Okay, so again with point slope form, the two things that I need are a point and I need a slope. So in this case I have two points, but I have no slope. So what is the method of finding slope if I have two points? Well, in this case we're going to go back to that slope formula. So remember the slope formula is the difference of the two y coordinates over the difference of the two x coordinates. That's going to give me the slope. Okay, so I can use my coordinates here, my points. I can plug it into the slope formula. I can find my slope. Then once I know my slope, I can just choose one of my two points, plug it into the point slope form, and I'm good to go. So if I use my slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, again, it doesn't really matter which ones are the ones and which ones are the twos, I just need to stay consistent. Let's go ahead and say that these are the twos, so this is x2 and y2, and call this one x1 and y1. So if I plug in my values, y2 minus y1, that would be negative three minus one over difference of the x's, 2 minus 4. If I simplify here, negative 3 minus 1, negative 4. 2 minus 4, that would be negative 2. And if I simplify that down, negative 4 over negative 2, or negative 4 divided by negative 2 is just going to be 2. So now I've got my slope. So 2 is going to be slope and value. Okay, once I know my slope, I've got two points to choose from. It actually doesn't matter which one I choose. Um, for point slope form, I can pick either one. So let's just use the first one, for example. So if I use my point slope form, which is y minus the y coordinate of my point, which is going to be 1, equals, then comes the slope, which we just found. It's right here, 2, and then parentheses x minus the x coordinate of my point. Make sure you're using the same point here. It's going to be 4. Okay, so there's the equation of the line that goes through these two points. And you can see I'm actually going to show you here that it doesn't matter which point you choose. Um, it'll all work out in the end. I'll show you. So let's go ahead and write the other equation here with this point. So we're going to go y minus the y coordinate. So I've got y minus negative 3. So again, remember, if you got a negative um, coordinate value in the equation y minus negative 3, it's going to be a y plus 3 equals then my slope again, which is 2, and x minus the x coordinate, which is 2. Okay, so here are the two different options that we have for the equation of this line. There's actually many more because there's many more points on that line. Um, but I'm going to show you real quick why it doesn't actually matter which one you choose. These equations look different, um, but if you were to, say, put them in slope-intercept form, you're going to see that um, they have the same y-intercept. They're going to be the same line. So what I can do with this real quick is I can um, distribute this to, so I can say y minus 1 equals 2 times x, which is 2x. Distribute the 2 times negative 4, which would be negative 8. And then if I added the 1 to both sides to get the y by itself, you can see I have y equals 2x negative 8 plus 1 is negative 7. So I have y equals 2x minus 7 if I were to convert that to slope-intercept form. If I do the same thing here, distribute, so 
y plus 3 equals 2 times x, which is 2x. Distribute the 2, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Get y by itself, subtract this 3 from both sides, and I've got y equals 2x, and then negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7 as well. So you can see, if I've got room left on my board here, if you can see that, I've got y equals 2x minus 7 um, for both of these. So you can see that these are the same line, so it doesn't matter which point I choose. It's any point on that line I can use to put in point slope form. Okay, let's do some graphing. So just like with um, slope intercept form, we can graph lines that are in point slope form. We just have to extract the information we'll need from the equation and just put it onto the graph. So let's say, um, let's give you a line in point slope form. So I got y plus one equals 3 fourths x plus four. Okay, so remember, if I were to graph this, the only two things I need to graph a line, well, a couple different ways I can go about it, but just any general line to create a line, I need two points. I have to have two points um, to create a line. And I've already got one point from my point slope form, because again, these values right here um, are a point that is on the line. So this one and this four here, uh, I have to do a little bit to get there, but that's gonna give me uh, my starting point. So if you remember in, in my formula, it's y minus the y coordinate. So if I have a plus here, what would that have meant? That means that my point that the line goes through is gonna be negative, okay? So it would have been y minus negative one, that's how I got that plus one. So it's gonna be a negative one for the y coordinate. Same thing over here, x minus negative four is gonna get me that plus four. So my x coordinate is gonna be negative four. Okay, so I've got negative one, or sorry, negative four, negative one is going to be um, the point through which this line goes. So if I've got negative four, one, two, three, four, negative one, I've got a point right there. Create a line, I need two points, so where am I gonna get that second point? Well, I'm gonna use the slope. So if I know the slope is three fourths, that means from this point here that I've already got, if I go up three to the right four, I know that point is also gonna be on this line. So from my original point, negative four, negative one, I'm gonna go up one, two, three, over one, two, three, four. And I can do it a couple times, up one, two, three, over one, two, three, four. I really only need two, but if I wanna get a good solid line here, go ahead and get a couple of points there. Okay, so this would be um, the graphic representation of this line in point slope form. Good. Let's do one more example. This will be it. Let's do another graphing. So let's say, maybe let's say we're going ahead and we're going to give you a graph. So if I give you a line on a graph, uh, we're going to go here and here. Make sure my lines. So let's give you a line and a graph. So let's say we wanna take this line and I wanna write the equation of that line in point slope form. Okay, so it's basically what we just did in reverse. So to write the equation of a line in point slope form, I've gotta have a point on the line and I need the slope. So starting with a point, I gave you two to write the, um, line in this graph here, so I can pick either one of these two points. The points that I have here are negative two, negative four, and then I have one, five. So I've got one, five right here. This one's negative two, negative four. And once again, I can pick either one, it doesn't matter. So in my point slope form equation, y minus y one equals slope is x minus x one. I can pick my line, or I pick, pick, pick my point, I'm gonna use one five, because I like positive numbers here. So I've got y minus the y coordinate, which is five, equals slope. Now, one option to get the slope, like I did before, since I have the two points, I can use the slope formula, take the difference of the y's over the difference of the x's. In this case, since I already have the graph, I'm just gonna count. I'm gonna count to get from one point to the next, the change in the y over the change in the x, 
So if I start here, I have to go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have to go up nine and then over one, two, three. So nine over three would be the slope of that line. So I went up nine over three. And then to finish out my equation, x minus the x coordinate of my point, which is here. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna do just to clean it up a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and reduce this fraction. My slope is nine over three, which nine over three, nine divided by three, just three. There it is. Okay, and once again, I could have used um, negative two, negative four in here, it doesn't really matter. So just any point on that line. Okay, so that is the point slope form equation of a line. Hope that helps you out. Uh, if it did, hit the thumbs up button and feel free to subscribe to the Geomestic channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, we will see you next time.